A brief research on Stefan Rolland by Shrush T. Gupta. Stefan Rolland is a French fashion designer and an haute couture fashion brand. Fashion designer who launched his first ready to wear collection at the age of 28. Three years later, he was appointed artistic director and couturier of the house Jean Louis Scherer, making him the youngest artistic director in the world. Roland simultaneously worked as a costume designer. In 2006 and 2007, he was nominated for the prestigious Moliere Awards and became an official partner of the Cannes Film Festival. On 2 July 2007, Roland presented a couture collection under his own name. Timeline Stefan Roland was born in Paris, France in 1966. Was raised in Cannes and Nice. Spends teens in Argentina and West Indies. Aged 18. Returns to Paris and enrolls at the École de la Chambre Syndicale de la Couture Parisienne, a fashion school. Aged 20. Begins internship at Cristobal Balenciaga Fashion House. Then located at 10th Avenue George the 5th nine months into his internship, Stefan Roland is assigned artistic manager for Balenciaga menswear. Aged 28, launches Stefan Roland ready to wear line. Stopped worldwide. Aged 40, launches eponymous fashion house, Stefan Roland haute couture, at 10th Avenue George the 5th, the very address at which his career with Balenciaga began 20 years earlier. Stefan's DNA, renowned for citing modern art and architecture as inspiration. Stefan Roland tackles space and light with breathtaking energy and astute sensitivity creating exclusive products that are part of a modern, luxurious and global lifestyle. Main means of expression, through a wide range of mediums such as sculpture, photography, paintings and of course fashion. Stefan Roland genuinely modern aesthetic results in complex silhouettes yet always immaculate, consistently graphic and sculptural that adapt to the active lifestyle of the modern woman. With Paris's most savvy craftsmen and visual artists embedding new and sophisticated materials into state-of-art manufactured garments, Stefan Roland brings a visionary twist to a 150-year-old industry. He grew up surrounded by photographers, in the black and white world of studios. He was very oriental in his way of life and thinking. Desert images with beige and sandy tones flowed into his universe. Then came ochre shades, naturally followed by red symbolizing his extremely passionate Latin side. As well as gold for its energy and light. What fashion means to him. Both the theatrics of a dress and its wearability are important. First of all wearability. In haute couture women are sometimes accepting to suffer a lot to have the best look ever. But he want women to feel good in the dress. It's a matter of balance. He want them to be spectacular and talk of the town in a way, but also not to look ridiculous in the dress. If one can't walk correctly it's not good. If one don't look cool in the dress it's not good. Architecture. Architecture is one of the main inspiration of Stefan Roland. To bid the structure of a gown, we have to start with the foundations. It is the backbone that hangs the body. One of the most inspiring sculptures by Stefan Roland in his constant quest for movement and the taking of space is Le Vactoire de Samotris. She embodies for the fashion designer her quest for freedom, femininity and extreme sensuality. The captivating darkness of Francisco Goyer and the rigor of the Spanish court under Balatquet further reinforced the expression of Stefan Roland's drawings. Sculptural shapes. Starting from a deep black ink stroke, Stefan Roland's goal is to reveal the identity of a woman melting sensuality to Cartesianism, fragility to strength. From this stroke starts the movement and then wings of Geza, bubbles of taffeta and waves of organza turn around the body like sculptures and sign the identity of the designer. Iconic pieces. Beyonce in pure Stefan Roland dress for the Grammy Awards 2010. Rihanna, Cheryl Cole and Lady Gaga in Stefan's haute couture dresses.